wildflowers growing in profusion. But not quite. As gardeners will be quick to point out, colourful as they are, they are weeds. But at Bexley and Kent, they're quite a valuable crop, so every now and then they pick a few. Although they arrange these weeds in a vase, this is food for butterflies. And this is a butterfly farm. This is where nettles are nourished with infinite care. They take delight in dandelions, and ragwort and groundsel get hothouse treatment, even special compost and cans full of fertilizer. The weeds have to be just what the butterflies like to lay their eggs on. Then the caterpillars take over and gobble up the weed harvest. Caterpillars can't stay indoors all summer long, especially when there's a wealth of cultivated wilderness waiting outside. So taking their diet of oak leaves with them, Michael Dickens, who owns this insect haven, lets them loose in the garden. But to make sure he can collect them just when they're ready to go into the larval stage, he keeps them inside muslin bags tied to the trees. There's everything a caterpillar could ever want in there, and for the butterflies, cotton dipped in honey, something sumptuous where everything else is so common or garden. Twenty thousand butterflies and moths are nurtured here each year. You get a cabbage white for a few shillings, but museums, zoos, and even film companies pay 70 guineas for more exotic specimens, dead or alive. The fluttering perfection of the silk moth 